guys and welcome back to my channel so today I have another wig to share with you guys before I get started let me just tell you guys that this is a collab video with my invisible chrysalis um I absolutely love her like I've been watching her videos since before I've had my own YouTube so I'll go ahead and I'll leave her YouTube link down below for you guys to check it out we both got the same wig and just so you can see two different ways of two different people styling their wigs I'll go ahead and leave that down below for you guys so go ahead and check out her channel and let's get started okay so this wig is one of my absolute favorite textures it is the Italian yakki texture and I love it so much because it just looks so real and it just I don't know like it holds curls so good like when it's straight it's like oh my gosh is that your hair is that your hair and that's what you want when you wear a wig right so let me give you guys all the details on this wig again it is um the 360 lace it's the italian yaki brazilian virgin wig it's 150 density um it is in the natural color uh which is usually i like to say around like a two, one B, two-ish kind of color. Um, I got it in 20 inches. It is pre-plucked around the hairline. Um, it, you can have the baby hairs in the front and in the back. And yeah, the cap construction is obviously just the 360 um, lace all the way around. So what that means is you have two, not two inches, you have four inches of parting space throughout the entire front and two inches of uh, parting space throughout the back. And then the middle has wefts. So I get this question, um, a lot actually people want to know the difference between a 360 wig a 360 frontal and a regular lace frontal so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to bring those three things out and show you guys for those of you that um are asking me and just want to know so yeah let me go ahead and get the other things so i can show you. okay so let's start off with the lace front so this is a lace front wig so what that means is there's only lace in the front there's no lace in the back Although you can still kind of get away with pulling these up, there's no extra lace back here to lay down. Um, and this one is actually five inches. So as you can see in the front, I have my little strips right here, um, but it is five inches of parting space. And right here in the inside, these are all tracks. So you can't do a middle part because it'd be like if you have a weave sewn in and you see all of the tracks right here, but you can part anywhere everywhere in the front um, with five inches normal lace fronts are usually they give you about three or four inches of parting space so this one goes back a little bit further um, but this is a lace front now a 360 frontal this is a 360 frontal so a 360 frontal is just that you get no middle <laughs> nothing in the middle so you get the four inches around the front and the two inches in the back of lace which means you can part it pretty much any angle around the front or in the back i don't know why you would part it in the back but you can part it in the back but you won't be able to part it down the middle because you have to get a wig cap and you would put the wig cap in here and you would sew tracks onto the wig cap so that's a 360 frontal and then a 360 wig is basically a 360 frontal but everything is already done for you. So you have the four inches around the front of lace where you can part it anywhere. You have the two inches of lace in the back if you wanted to part it in the back or whatever. And then you have the tracks already sewn for you in the middle part right here. So again, you have literally have lace around the entire thing like a regular 360 frontal, but you can't part it down the middle because the middle has tracks sewn in, but you can part it anywhere in the front. Okay, now that that is out the way, let's get started on this look. Okay, so here is the wig. Let me just show you guys all the details and specs. I told you guys everything about it. Again, everything will be in the description box down below. All of the details that I've mentioned and maybe a few things that I may have forgot, I'll put down there. Also, this wig is also from Wild African, so I'll put the video for this wig in any details if you guys want this wig. So the wig has the standard two combs on the side. It has one comb that's kind of like right here in the middle. I never use that comb. Sometimes I even take it out, um, but personal preference, if you guys use it, you can keep it. It has the one comb in the back, which I usually just hook up under my wig cap or my wig grip. And then it also has the adjustable straps. Ah, it also has the adjustable straps in the back. So you can make your wig as tight or as loose as you would like. I get mine in a 
I think it's a medium, it's the 22, whatever, whichever one is 22 inches, that's the one that I get. My wig head is also 22 inches. I got this off Amazon. I'm trying to knock out all the questions that you guys have been asking me. So yeah, I got this from Amazon. My best friend actually bought this for me for Christmas. So if I can find the link for you guys, then um, I'll leave that down below. But I know she got it off Amazon because I sent it to her. Um, but yeah, so with this hair, I'm trying to see what I'm going to do with it for you guys. For it. If you guys want to see exactly how I um, either do the baby hairs or create a realistic hairline, I'll link that video down below. Also, I'll link a video on how I get my parts and things to look natural. It's my four things that all we wear should know video. I'll link that down below as well. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this on before I cut the lace just so I can show you guys what it looks like without any manipulation. And then I'm gonna go ahead, cut the lace, do the part and then I'm gonna come back and style it for you guys. So I think with this wig, I'm gonna do one side straight. So I'm gonna use my Vanity Planet flat irons. I'll also put the link down below for you guys for this flat iron. I love it so much and I do have a coupon code for it. Um, I also have coupon codes for my African. You guys know that. Um, I have a coupon code for regular wigs. It's just my name, it's B-R-Y-A-N-A. -A. And then I have a coupon code for 360 wigs, which is my name, B-R-Y-A-N-A. -A. And it has as the number 10 afterwards so again I'll link that all down below for you guys because I know that I'm talking a lot in this video um, but yeah I'm gonna put this on so I can show you guys and then I'll take it off duty it up and then I'll straighten one side and I'm going to rod the other side and then I'll wash it so you guys can see that it reverts back so this is what it looks like on with the lace still attached no manipulation at all you guys can see that it is pre-plucked a little bit in the front, but of course I'm going to go a little bit more with the pre-plucking. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is the texture. It's super soft. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just going to cut the lace off and put it back on and stuff. Okay, so wig is on. My part is fixed. And this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to... Let me see. I think I'm going to do... This side straight and this side rotted. So I'm just gonna pin this side up out of the way. Okay, love, so I am all done. This is what the straight side looks like. I tried to only do two passes per section. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It would have probably been a little bit easier if I would have did it on the wig head um, because I couldn't really see the back, but this is what we look like. Um, it's nice and soft, soft, still nice and flowy. It's not stiff or anything like that. And then this is what the rotted side looks like. So I didn't use any type of holding spray or anything like that. Usually these type of textures are really good with holding uh, curls. So this is what this looks like. Nice and bouncy, nice and full and thick. And then let's look at the back. And then this is what the back looks like. So I know I have a few like crimps and stuff right here. Um, just because I couldn't really see. Uh, but this is what it looks like. This is how long it is. And yeah, I'm excited. I don't want to wash it because I don't want to wash out these curls, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash okay, it out. So I'm back and I washed it and it's still dripping wet if you guys can see. Um, this was the straight side and this was the rotted side. I ended up using the Camille Naturals Cleansing um, Rinse 
don't really like that on my real hair but i used it for this um so yeah it definitely reverted back i'm gonna blow it out a little bit with the blow dryer just to get some of the water droplets off and then i'll show you guys okay so it is almost fully dry it's not 100 percent dry but i just held the blow dryer at a distance and kind of just blew out the water i didn't run it through or anything but as you can see the texture definitely came back and this is what it looks like it's still really soft it still has movement um i didn't put anything any conditioner or anything in it but this is what it looks like mostly dry uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye